Uh, we were treated, like you said, Brad, to some great racing. Uh, me and Manny, our eyes were bolting out of our head for the first couple races. We had probably the most stacked field in history. Brad, you are a motocross historian uh, to the fullest <laughs> degree of the letter. Um, do you think in your professional opinion, sir, that this is one of the most stacked fields that we've seen in history? Because to me, I can't think of a time when it's been more stacked, when we've had literally 15 guys that could win a race. Well, as owner and co-host of the fourth most popular podca podcast in the motocross segment, on uh, thanks to my friends over at Facebook, Big MX Radio, I am happy to uh, tell you that never before in the history of Supercross has, after three rounds, the first nine riders been this close in points. It's never happened before. So if that's evidence of, uh, of parody, then I don't know what is. And the fact that we have not... 10, not 12, but 15 guys in the 450 class that have won titles, titles yeah. on a 250. That is absolutely bonkers. And you have at least four guys that have won a championship in the 450 class, all vying for wins, all vying for relevancy, and in a lot of cases, vying for their careers going forward. Guys like Justin Bogle and, and this, that, and the other thing. It's really impressive. It's really exciting. And I know Manny Fresh has been talking about it as well. We're treated to some fantastic racing. And a lot of it has to do with the so many years of all those uh, the, the kids that come out of these facilities. So much talent, so much speed. And it's, it's culminating in the 2021 Supercross season that is just action-packed and full of talent. Oh, 100%. Manny, I'll, I'll kick it off to you. Probably the most stacked field in both classes, right? What, what are your thoughts on it? Yeah, it was crazy. I remember, like, we were talking about it even when we were just looking at, you know, that first A group of practice. It was like almost everybody that went out there has a championship, whether it be in a lights class or in a 450 class. And it was just amazing, literally, to see, like, the class that was that stacked. It was like everybody out there has a championship. Everybody out there has wins pretty much. So it's just like, I, I would get nervous even just trying to qualify if I'm looking at, if I'm like one of these, you know, yeah. guys on the cusp, it's like I, I, the guy who, who finishes 15th could win or probably has won. So yeah. it's, it's just literally like somebody's going to have to have a shitty night. And that kind of like, just as a fan, that makes for an exciting experience for me. Well, 100%. Yeah. We, uh, we, we didn't know where to 18, look. Rock tickle knocking down podiums. Podium yeah. performance in Toronto. Yeah. Seventeenth place guy right now. Yeah. Crazy. Like, what? No. Yeah. In practice, we had no idea where to look. We're like, oh, this guy, this guy, no, this guy. This, like they're literally battles all the way back to like, you know. Minutes. So okay, yeah, Brad being top keeper. Um, keeping us on track. Uh, hundred percent right. Let's go. Um, so